Hi everyone, uh, this is Praveen Sarma. Uh, uh, we are starting a one course. It's a uh, regarding the uh, file end. It's a administrator console for content uh, platform engine. Basically, it's a tool of file end. And uh, firstly, uh, I'm telling you uh, from uh, myself. So. I have a uh, around a six year experience in a file net and the case manager. Okay, so currently I'm working in one uh, MNC company. Okay, so yeah, and uh, I'm a good in a Java and uh, file net also. I have around uh, five plus experience in the file net. Uh, uh, I had worked on the uh, in the ACC navigators, case managers, and uh, the workflows uh, which we have designing in the process uh, designer. Okay, let's uh, come on a topic. So, in the ACC, uh, we have a uh, few topics uh, in the list that uh, we are going to discuss in this course. Firstly, just a uh, it's an overview of uh, the ACC tool. After that, uh, uh, the object stores classes type of classes. Uh, in the type of classes, there are three type of classes: documents, folder, and uh, custom object. After that, uh, we will discuss about uh, properties, property definition. Uh, property definitions uh, we have uh, we are added in the class. Okay, that is the custom properties. Uh, next is the choice list. Choice list also uh, the one list which we are using in the class also. Search template. Search template is basically we are using for uh, searching the content uh, in the ACC. And after that, security. So uh, security means to that uh, uh, in the document uh, having some different different security like to uh, who having the admin access who having the viewer who having the editing access like that after that uh, subscriptions subscriptions we are using basically uh, for uh, like to uh, launching the event okay so on on uh, here we are talking about the subscription for the launching the workflow by by using uh, the class check in event for the creation event and uh, after that the connection points isolated regions and uh, the rosters rosters basically uh, it's the part of the workflow roster uh, if uh, we are defining the roster it's a it's a like a database uh, where the old work item uh, is being placed for q uh, it's like a, a group so in the work queue where we are where where we have put the multiples members in the list inbox is related to the uh, uh, participant personal uh, inbox component queue uh, it's a workflow part and uh, component queue basically we are uh, using for uh, if you are having any uh, api designing or having any custom operations which we are using in uh, in the in the in between in the workflow. Uh, so uh, if we have any any uh, requirement like that, so we will using component queue. So uh, now we are come on the overview of the ACC. ACC basically it's a content play platform engine. Is the contents securities and the storage management engine for IBM FileNet P8. You can configure the administrator uh, content platform engine to meet the need of your organizations. Okay, you use the uh, IBM ACC means to administrator console for content platform engine to, uh, to configure the administrator content platform engine. You use the content based administrator console uh, for content platform engine to administrator the uh, administrator the file net PA domain. Basically, it's for using uh, the administrator purpose. 
and uh, not everybody uh, if any organizations is use this tool then uh, not every uh, in the team member to the whole not a whole team member can access this tool only for the admin person can access it's for a it's for a specific credential it's not uh, login for a, uh, all credentials means which are using on a normal type so the domain sites object store and uh, other object in your system if we are discussing now uh, the object stores so object store basically uh, is the file net uh, ibm file net pa domain can have uh, one or more uh, object stores an object store represent a location which an ibm file net pa domain on the content engine server in which objects are stored accessible and managed an object store is used to store a related set of data which can be grouped by types like uh, we are taking our example here one object store could contain email messages and another could contain home loan information the important uh, distinction in that different object store can contain the data for different application with different metadata and in our example the object store for email could have an email class for document that contains subject from or to properties the object store for home loan could have a loan class for documents that has total amount interest rate properties so basically object store it's like a uh, you can say it's like it's like a database okay so uh, in the one organizations may be having the different uh, multiple object stores multiple object store uh, uh, basically it's for a different different uh, uh, you can say uh, like to have one object store i have created is for a uh, account team second object store i have created is for a real estate team and the third object store uh, uh, let's say we have created for one uh, uh, hotel organization okay so in one organization so the one company uh, may be having the multiple object stores for the multiple businesses okay and all these of the object store uh, having the work the different different means one object uh, object should have not interrupt to the another object object store like that uh, this uh, uh, we have take this example of the email and the home loan so one object store for the email and one object store for the home loan means both are the different uh, there is a no communication between them you can say and the both both uh, object store document classes and both object store documents are also uh, placed the in one object store only that's why we are correct we have uh, means uh, we will creating multiple objects so for the multiple processes okay and uh, the one more thing about the object so an object store uh, uh, object provide access to metadata and to collection of object such as documents folders class description that are saved in the object store as with most other types of object you can use static method on the factory inner class to create instance of object store okay now let's uh, move on the next topic next is the classes classes basically uh, file net uh, uh, in the file net there is a uh, some uh, some types of classes okay firstly uh, we can uh, take our one uh, intro to the file net sorry uh, intro to the classes then we are discussing about the type of classes so each content engine object is in, uh, instantiated from content engine class which is a specification for a set of object having the same supported method and the properties the class to which an object belong determine the object method properties and default securities many content engine classes uh, mostly the document custom object and folder class can be subclassed by a client application each subclass can have its own set of custom properties 
in addition of the properties provided by subclass in addition the content engine also specifies abstract classes which can neither be modified or nor intensified abstract classes exist as a mean by which related to the classes can be grouped together the properties and the method of abstract classes are inherited by concrete subclasses from which object can intensify for information about property okay so classes basically uh, in the file net uh, there are the three type of classes uh, it's a document folder and the custom object uh, which already uh, named here document custom object and the folder so these are the root classes only means when we creating a new system new file net system so these are the uh, you uh, you uh, you can say these are the auto created during the file net creation okay so means if you want to create a, a new folder here so you need to create a one folder uh, in this root class okay so means that's the parent class of the old fold old folders and uh, if you are talking about the document also so document class is the root class of the old document classes so uh, like to uh, uh, i have one organizations is uh, uh, you can say uh, abc so uh, i need to uh, one i need to create a one class abc on the document class so when we are creating a new class so it's a child class of the document class you can say or uh, in the same way you can create a, a multiple classes and the multiple uh, nested classes also okay so inside the abc also you can create one class so uh, you can say uh, it's a hierarchy okay and the root class of the all these classes it's a document class okay and same for the folder and uh, same for the custom object but uh, you know folder uh, is a simple thing uh, you can uh, uh, if you have a window and if you have the mac and then that's the operating system so in there you have you are you you can create a directory or the folder so that's the same thing in the folder you can uh, put the multiple documents it's maybe the document it's maybe the custom object okay so you can create the multiple folder also okay so uh, like i have created a one document so that document i can put inside a one folder okay so that's the same structure actually okay so now we are uh, forwarding to following to the next uh, uh, topic so it's a type of classes uh it's a document folder and the custom object document classes first a document class is the root class for documents and it is created when you create an object store you use a document class to define the property of a document and to manage documents by typing an object store a document class is commonly assigned as a default class for a document you can create a custom class inside the document class next uh, it's a folder so folder are based on the folder class like other classes uh, the default behavior of the folder class can be extended uh, by using subclasses assigning custom properties or changing the security of these subclasses folder are not versionable only documents are versionable this mean that any change you uh, make to the folder property or to the object it's contain are not kept in history or track anyway uh, such as way the document version capture what the document was at a particular point in time so here uh, it's uh, uh, it's getting the difference between folder and uh, document so uh, if you are creating a multiple documents in the same uh, like what i am creating a one document so in the same document i have a, uh, like to a, uh, i have creating a one document okay so it's a version one but after that sometime i got a one uh, latest content of the, in this document so i have updated this and check in a one check in this uh, document so it's a new version created created of the same document okay but new version is created means the previous version is also there 
so it's a versionable document okay means the previous content is not deleted okay it's created a one version uh, in the on the on the previous version okay so it's going to a version but it's maybe the many versions one two three four five to ten okay and uh, what about the folder folder is not versionable if you are created a one folder after that you change the name of that folder okay so means you can check only the latest folder you can you cannot track this uh, changes okay means what the previous name of that folder and uh, uh, like to uh, uh, if you are changes any object in the security part or any property and you also can't track the folder uh, you can see changes and uh, sorry custom object custom object is a general purpose object that is used to track physical item such as magnetic tapes and disk you can customize custom object by adding property and assigning subclasses to the object custom object share some similarity with document object where they can be fulfilled and the unfilled in folders here are some properties and the choice list so properties are the uh, you can say uh, it's a the, the property we can attach it in the class it's like it's look uh, uh, if uh, you are uh, uh, means talking with the easiest way so in the developer purpose uh, like in the java we have created one variables uh, in the class so look like that in the file net we have created the property okay and the in a one class we can attach the multiple property and in, in this property we are putting some values okay like to i have created a one property uh, the name okay name age uh, and the uh, you can see gender so these three property i have created after that i attach these three property to the class okay so when uh, the new document is created in the class so this three property property will asking during the document creation okay so that's the definition of the property after that uh, the choice list choice list basically uh, in the property we can put only a one value but, cho but choice list it's look like a drop down where we can choose a one value so choice list also the same okay so uh, like i have created a one uh, choice list it's a department so in the department list i have created i have uh, uh, some it account real estate some hod's department some other departments so if i attach this property to the class then uh, what the value is came it should be only uh, it should match to the this choice list value other than the document will uh, created fail okay so that's the choice list search template search template basically it's using for searching the documents in the uh, acc also and the navigator also and uh, like to, uh, in the general purpose we are uh, using uh, like to, uh, uh, i have one class it's a uh, uh, account so uh, account having the multiple property but uh, uh, normally i have searched in the some two property so with this two property i have created one stored search on there means like to, I, I create uh, i create one search and save this inside the uh, file net or acc or the uh, navigator both so in the next time when i going to search i no need to create a one search for it because that is already created i just open this and put the value and click on a run button for the search okay so it search for me and uh, if i am talking about the administrator console acc only one administrator with access to the search designer can create and modify the search criteria use the search template so as i said previously so only the administrator can uh, do the changes inside this uh, secure there are the many different uh, options where it come to choose how to set up your security on the file net object so also on ibm container if you are using the ibm provided web based interface the subject to security is a uh, waste to complex one 
so i'm uh, going to just touch on the basis so normally in the file net uh, if i'm talking about the documents and the folders and uh, these things so there are the some types of security firstly is the document security like to have which documents is for uh, moving for which person and uh, you can say who is the uh, owner of this uh, document or this class okay so there are the some types of security first is the class level security the document security there is a one default instance security default instance security is for uh, which uh, you know when we are uh, not going to customize any classes that's a default security of the root class so okay so this the same uh, uh, security is going to apply to the every document the custom uh, custom security custom security means on every class we are going to change so this class is uh, uh, this class document who can access this class document and who can edit or who is the owner of this class document and uh, next is a subscription subscription basically uh, we are using for launching the workflow during uh, uh, during the uh, during the event okay like that uh, i have a scenario uh, firstly uh, we, are, we are just talking about the intro of this a subscription is represented by a subscription class which is the base class of instance subscription and class subscription for journal subscription and instance workflow subscriptions and class workflow subscriptions for workflow related subscriptions only a workflow related subscription initiate a workflow and event action in response to event trigger on a particular object or on any object of a particular class so uh, i am uh, just telling a one example here so subscription is basically using uh, for the uh, launching the event suppose that i have a class so uh, i need to create a, i need to launch the workflow during when any document is created of this class okay uh, means during the document creation there is a two event will call firstly is the check in event secondly it's a creation event creation event is only called for the creation the document when is going to first turn create but check in event is going to uh, means check in event is for the every time when sir, this document is going to check in okay so uh, anyone uh, uh, event we can uh, use this so during the uh, any document is created of this class so uh, we need to launch the workflow so for that we are uh, using the subscriptions and uh, we put the two things on there so which one class we need to use and which workflow we need to launch for this next is the workflow system workflow system uh, is a collection of the isolated region an isolated region contain the queues rosters and event load that are necessary to create the process workflow a workflow system use the same database connection and schema as object store with which is associated an object store can contain only one workflow system you can use the administrator console to administ administrate the workflow system connection point in the one uh, file net system maybe uh, we having the multiple connection points that's a possible and in the connection points maybe we having the multiple uh, you can say isolated region so let's discuss about the definition of this connection points are defined in the content engine api the connects pe connection point and the isolated region classes are persist the global configuration data gdc on the content engine multiple connection points can reference the same isolated region and connection point replace the router process used in the in previous process engine release connection the process engine api to an associate 
isolated region. Connection points are defined in the Content Engine API. Content Engine API means the PE connection point and the isolated region classes and persist in the GDC means global configuration data on the content engine. Multiple connection points can reference the same isolated region. The set of connection point defined is reflected in the content engine domain. E connection point properties. To create and manage connection point, use the IBM administrator console for content engine with content platform engine means the ACC. To stabilize or log in to process engine session, a connection point must be specified and the content engine host must be accessible. After that, the isolated region. An isolated region is a logical subdivision of the workflow system. Isolated region are often used to separate development, testing, and production environment. Such that developers and testers can share computing resources while still keeping their disparate activity isolated. An isolated region is identified by one or more connection points. Information that is common to all region in the workflow system is contained in the workflow system property. You can initialize or delete an isolated region. In addition, you can delete workflow system. Typically, these activities are performed only in the development environment. 